Oh, Linaki here with another Halo Reach uh, campaign mission walkthrough, and today I'm going to show you how to get the It Was the Winter campaign challenge, which requires the completion of the Winter Contingency mission on Legendary difficulty with no deaths. So here we are setting it up, and for this uh, particular challenge, I turned on the Grunt Birthday Skull to better see Grunt Headshots at Distance. And I turned on free-for-all scoring uh, just so that I wouldn't immediately go into the next mission. Plus the fact getting the scores for kills uh, makes it easier to see that you've actually taken out somebody. So here we are at the start. Skip the opening cutscene here. And it's going to take us a little bit of time to really get going. Now, I'm surprised they, they do this particular one on Legendary. I guess the uh, they don't they don't ask you about your controller, at least. Alright, well, I got that out of the way. Okay, off and running. All right, noble team. All right, when we jump over this uh, support here, this bulkhead right here, off in the distance here, we'll see a, uh, an elite uh, with camo running away, and I never can seem to catch him. He's off there in the distance. Uh, somebody ought to do a tutorial on how to get that guy. But anyway, here we go. Just follow this path. And sprint when we got sprint. Takes about four seconds or so for sprint to come back. All right, through the house, the first house, and out in the courtyard. For some reason, I always get stuck right on that rock. Didn't jump far enough. Okay. And it's Sprint towards the second house. The game's nice enough to flash flash it so we know where we're going. Alright, through here to the right. Head before the courtyard again. And into this building. Okay, now the fun's about ready to start, and we're gonna we're gonna bypass the first several firefights here. All right, jump this little uh, railing there, and then take this path up here through this open shed area. That'll provide cover, and then down here, and we just bypass the first uh, the first firefight. The idea here is to stay alive. Why engage when you don't have to? Okay. Just keep following this path here. Well, the tactics being used here are also can be used on the uh, when one is doing legendary all skulls on or, or lazo or lazo. Uh, just have to be a little bit more careful. Alright, so there were some elites over there, about four of them I think, and we just kind of ran right by them. That's that's where we are getting fire. Notice the health pack there in case in case you take more fire than I did. You can get your health pack right there. Into the truck and down the dirt road. I'm not worried about the jackals here. I'm surprised I didn't splatter him. We're just going to drive right by him. Same thing here with these guys, just drive right by him. There's a couple of grunts right there, so we'll just drive right by them. Now we come around this curve here, uh, there is a bobble eat that sometimes shows up, sometimes doesn't. 
And he's there somewhere, but you know, sometimes we see him, sometimes we don't. But anyway, here we are with the Lost Patrol. And now we've got uh, a couple of spirits coming in, actually about three total. Uh, dropping off coveys, and I can't believe I didn't splatter anybody there. The idea is to stay in the truck there and splatter that squad of grunts. Our uh, Lost Patrol has taken a few of them out. Jeez, I missed again. There's a delayed reaction. Just goes to show uh, my ineptitude at driving. But you get the idea. There we go. Finally got one. And the MOA. Let me get this guy right here. Boom. Finally got another one. Okay, once we clear out that first squad, let's hang on. Up in this area here, I'm going to park the uh, truck right behind this little rock. I'm going to head on up here. Uh, the spirits are going to drop in another squad of, of, um, of grunts. Each spirit will drop in a squad of grunts plus an elite. There's plenty of ammo here with the pistol, so I'm just going to sit up here and pick off as many of these guys as I can. Now, obviously, the quicker we pick them all off, the quicker we can move on to the next uh, engagement. Not the best shot in the world here. Got to hit the grunts in their nozzle. Knock the nozzle off or, or hit them in a the nozzle and they'll get... These guys, you got to knock the nozzle off and then you get a head shot. The others, uh, just hit them in the nozzle, you'll get a head shot. Leaks in the way. It takes a full clip plus to take out an elite because he's got good shielding, Cover even me. without Mythic on. But you get the idea here. We could actually just sit here and let the uh, rest of uh, Noble down there, uh, our pals down there, take them all out, which is generally what you do uh, when you're running a Lazo mission. Although there is one health pack down there somewhere. Ooh, ooh. The uh, elite took notice of me. But I'm staying in cover as much as I can here. Just popping these guys at distance. Again, the whole point of this challenge is to get through it entire mission without dying. There we go. Get another one down. When we get down and get all the grunts out of the way, then we can... Uh, possibly uh, use the truck to take out the elites. Well, I think I might, in this, in this particular run, I actually took out one of the elites. Got his shields weakened, and he took some more fire from my AI buddies. And, uh, and then I was able to take him out. Okay, there go the shields. I always hate that reload right when I want to take that last headshot. There we go. Got him. All right, I believe we're now down to one elite. And I'm going to try to tra take him out with the truck. Just a splatter. Nuts. I missed him. But what happened here was I, I hit I, I hit enough of him to weaken his shields, and my AI buddies took him out. Yep. So mission accomplished. Your objective complete, and apparently the captain wants a ride. Uh, let's grab that DMR, and when before the Falcons come in, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of scrounging for uh, sticky grenades. Plasma grenades, and I don't see any, darn it. Yeah, 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 I'm coming. Okay, on to the next engagement, and that is at the Com Relay uh, building. Nice little helicopter ride, if you will. Can you feed it? 
There is actually a neat little trick where uh, uh, where there's jackals that we saw going down the path. If you can grab a plasma pistol, you can actually EMP a, a falcon out of the sky, in essence hijack it, and uh, bring it down towards the first encounter and just kind of land it right on top of the first spirit that's dropping off the uh, grunts and ride that back to this uh, encounter here. And um, it, what it does is say it saves you having to engage in that in that encounter plus the fact a lot of time. However, I've only successfully done that once and it is very tricky to do so this is the tried and true method. Uh, take out as many grunts as you can from distance plus uh, try to splatter the elites. That's what I did back there. So now we're going into the next one. Okay, let's go ahead and run up the ladder here, or the steps to this platform, throw a grenade down there, try to take out as many as we can, got good, got a triple kill, there's more DMR ammo than I just ran over by the way, up, up here on this platform. And like all the encounters here, the, the, you know, the quicker we take these guys out, you know, the quicker we'll get to the next engagement. But after that first encounter with the troops on the ground, we want to get into the building and then deal with the other cubbies coming in on these spirits from inside here. We do not want to go outside the building. Again, remember, you're not supposed to die. Be very careful about the uh, spirit there because its main gun can take you out. So I'm using the, the uh, this uh, little room here as cover. And let's just start taking them out, one after the other. Be very careful about the spirits coming in. See, he's starting to fire his main gun again. And what, what was really interesting is that in this particular run, there are a couple of elites out there. Actually, about three, I think. A couple of them uh, actually jumped into the room, which is something you don't normally see. Ah, throw another grenade. Okay, yeah, I got double kill. Oh, well, that's one. Also, got to be careful about suiciding grunt. Sometimes you see that, sometimes you don't. That's the first time in a while I've seen a suiciding grunt running into the building. Just step back and take him out from a little distance. Okay, the fact that the jackals are here means we're getting close. Whoop! Comes the next spirit in. Okay, good. The door should start closing here momentarily. Oh, here comes the elite. See, that's pretty dangerous. But he's engaged with the uh, with my uh, noble team buddies, so I just stepped back to the back of the room and took him out with a headshot. Okay, here we go. While we're waiting for the door to open, I'm just seeing if I can jump up on Carter's head there. Hey, there we go. I don't know if that triggered the door to open any quicker, but in through the doorway, notice I got my night vision on. Turn left, turn left. Go ahead and skip the cutscene. And grab that DMR. For some reason, I can never get this grunt right there. Notice that elite down there at the end. He's got a concussion rifle. We want to take him out. But we have to be mindful of the uh, jackals and grunts advancing on us. Just keep uh, peppering him with headshots. He's got pretty good shielding there. But at some point, the shields are going to go. Like so. And we'll take him in a headshot. Go ahead and take, try to take uh, these guys out down here with grenades and headshots or whatever. I got a good double kill there. So we clear this corridor. Alright. And I'm going to swap out my pistol for a plasma pistol. I'm looking for uh, plasma grenades, by the way. Alright. 
Now we're going to clear out another corridor. Unless they're all putting fire on uh, on George here. Which is a good thing because they're not firing at me. Alright, they've retreated now. now. I'm going to go back here and get full ammo on my DMR. I've run a little low there. Okay, back on up. Picked up a plasma grenade along the way. That's a good thing. Alright, as soon as I get up towards here, they'll all advance around the corner to a grenade, take a few out, and clean up the rest. I noticed that I retreated a little bit there because my shields were starting to go down, and I wanted to get full shields back. There we go. So that takes care of those guys. Now we're down into the final room. We've got four grunts and a sword elite. And so the first thing we want to do is take out the grunts. And it looks to me like grunt number four is a little hesitant to show his face. Oh, there he is. And I still can't get a line on him. Here, Mr. Grunt. So let's jump right up on this railing here. Oh, there he is, there he is. All right. Now, because uh, we don't have double shielding and health here, I can I can take the elite out in this manner. EMP headshot, noob combo, and he's done. With mythic and mythic and or well, actually mythic on, uh, we can't do that. We'd have to kind of sucker him out to go after George and then assassinate him. That's how we take care of him. Okay. Here we are, that's it. That's the end of the mission. That was It was the Winter Campaign Challenge. I hope this helps you in your quest for this particular challenge. Uh, this is Old Anaki signing off. Take care, everybody.